Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am doing this random video today because I think it's important. I know I have a very large amount and variety of folks on this platform um, that are either one new to concealed carry, very you know experienced with concealed carry and all there is to be with guns and all of those things. But I feel like sometimes I need to take a step back and be like, you know, there are some people that are on this app that are new to concealed carry. Um, and they just want those little tips and tricks that I've, you know, picked up along the way. I think it's important. But first of all, thank you to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already and you're loving it, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video at the end, give me a big thumbs up and drop a comment. That's always helpful. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you there. Now I'm getting ready to leave. As you can see, I'm in the truck, right? Um, when I carry in the vehicle, first off, I like to carry on body. Now I know some people take their guns off, they'll set them on their sides, they'll hook them to a magnet. Those are all things that are utilized a lot. Um, but for me, when I'm driving, if it's a small trip, anything under two hours, I always have my gun on my person. It's just how I prefer. Um, I really enjoy doing that. And I feel like it's it's safe here. You know, I, f I really feel like I am used to it being on my side so that I really, I like it. It's comfortable. It's comforting. Um, so I'm in the car now. I am buckled up as you can see. So I always adjust, I'm going to drop this down. I always adjust my buckle. So it is sitting right under or on, I don't like to say under, on the clip. So it is sitting on the clips that clip from the holster. If anything, this is giving it just a little bit more retention to the belt line, which I love thumbs up. Um, my gun is always, I'm going to show you lifted up here. So the grip is obviously accessible here. No worries how that goes at all. It's, you know, pretty accessible other than having the belt and the garment in the way it is riding. So I don't have I can't tell you how many seat belts I've seen where they're up here, they're pressing into the grip, you know, they got them super low. I like to have the belt strapped right on the clip line. I feel like, I, like I said before, the retention is good. Also, that grip is not covered up in any way. Um, my shirt is super baggy today, but we know, as you've seen from previous videos, baggy, loose fitting clothes are the best, right? So like I said before, gun is safe in the holster. We have the belt riding right underneath. Well, right on top. You see this underneath here as I put the belt down. It's kind of adding that retention, like I said. And always, always, always practice pulling that gun out in various ways, whether that means a new garment or you're in the car or you're sitting down, always make sure that you can access that firearm if you ever needed to, right? So like I said, practice the moving of the garment, practice the moving of the belt. You want to lift up and make sure that you can gain access to that gun if you ever needed to. That's how I like to carry in the car. Like I said, we'll go over this one more time. With a buckle being here, I make sure it's all adjusted. I make sure everything's safe on my waistline and that I feel comfortable in the vehicle where the belt placement is. It's important to double check that whenever you're getting into the car. Always stay safe, guys. Stay strapped. If you like this video and you want any more tips or tricks, give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys stay strapped. I hope you guys stay comfortable and always stay safe. Thanks, guys.